A question that I get asked rather frequently and that I've been discussing with Noseman recently is how does PC Find work? So let's have a look at this. PC Find helps you find points that are close to a given position. In our case, I've drawn my current position from which I am looking for other points in this slight blue color and I would like to look for other points in this radius here. So let's first look at the vex function PC find. And when you're in Houdini, in Wrangle, and type in PC find brackets, and then hit F1, automatically Houdini will open the help for the PC find. And what it will return is this syntax here. So let's look at all those parameters. So PC find is the function name that we're calling. So that tells vex use PC find to find points that are close to a given position. The given position is specified by the vector P. Usually that's a three-dimensional vector for x, y, and z coordinates. And it specifies the position from which we are searching for other points. Now the parameter that we have to specify is the radius in which we're looking for other points. So that defines the maximum distance that points can have from our current position. And the last important parameter for PC find is the maximum number of points it should find. So in this example, I've specified the max points to be three. PC find will only return the three closest points to our given position and omit the fourth point that in theory would also be within this search radius. So how does PC find return the points it finds? Well, it returns a list of point IDs. So each of those points, as you know, in Houdini has its own unique ID. And Houdini is gonna create a list of those IDs of the points that it found. So when using VEX, we have to use this syntax. We create an integer array, so that is a list of values, and we specify an array by those squared brackets here. So the array is called points, and the square brackets tell Houdini that this is a list, it's an array. And the array equals to PC find, so it equals the values that PC find will return. So basically, this tells VEX, this tells Houdini to write the values that PC find finds into this array called points. So in our case, and this is just a silly example, so in our case, let's assume those found points here have those IDs. PC find will return those IDs in ascending order and order them by the distance the points have to our given search position. So it will return the closest points ID first and the farthest points ID last. So in our case, let's assume this is the closest point. This will be the first entry, 47, then nine, which has a medium distance, then 22, which is farthest away from the position. And the last thing I need to know is how do I go through this list that PC find returns? So I have this list of values, but how can I access those values and how can I do something with them? And there's a handy construct for this in Houdini and not only in Houdini, but in many programming languages. And it's the for each loop. It is specified with this syntax here. So you drop down a for each and in the brackets, you specify one variable, which in our case should be an integer. And this variable will become very important once this loop will be executed. And we specify our array name through which we would like to go. And what for each will do now is it will look at this array here with those entries and execute this loop in our case three times because the array, our list contains three entries. So for each will run three times. And for each time it runs, it will load one of the list entries into this variable. During our first execution, point will contain the value 47. During the second execution, point will contain the value 9. And during the third and the last run, point will contain 22. All right, let's build an example in Houdini. First, I'm going to drop down a grid, dive in there, and increase the grid's resolution to 100 by 100. Then I'm going to use an add node to add a single point, in our case, at the null position. That's fine. Next, I'm going to drop down a point wrangle wire up my grid in here and my single point in here. And the first thing I want to do is get this point's position by specifying a vector. Let's call it pause. And let's set it to the point position by using the command point. We want to look on the first input slot. So this is the zero input slot, first input slot, second, third, because we're counting from zero. We want to look for the value of P and this points ID will be zero, as we can see here. So let's add that here. Now, the next thing is from this position, we want to use PC find to find points in this grid here. The way I usually use VEX when I dive into new functions is I use it like this. I write down the function name followed by brackets and a semicolon. 
highlight the function name with my cursor and hit F1. And Houdini will automatically open the help and the reference file for that function. And in our case, the important info is hidden here. So this tells me that PC find will return an integer array and these will be the function arguments. So the values a function needs to work. First thing is the input number where my geometry with the points that I would like to search through is coming in and that's on the zero input slot. So let's write down the zero here. Second thing is the name of the channel where the incoming points position is stored. And that is usually P. So let's just drop down quotation marks P. Next thing is the position from which I would like to search for the other points in our case, that's called pause. Next is the radius in which it should find points. So the maximum distance a point can have to pause. Let's just set it to 1.0 for now. The last thing is the number of maximum points it's allowed to find. Let's set it to 20 in our case. As I mentioned, I need to specify an array. So PC find can write the values it finds into that array. And let's do that by specifying an integer array called points. Let's set that. And that is equal to the values that PC find will return. Now that I have those values, let's go through them using the for each loop. And what for each needs is first a variable which will contain an individual list entry when we loop through our array. So let's call that point. And it needs the array name which we should loop through. In our case, points without those curly brackets. The curly brackets are only needed when you specify an array or when you want to access a given entry in that array. This construct will run a given number of times. It will run exactly as many times as there are elements in points. For each run, it will copy an individual element from points into the variable called point. So one after another, we will go through the whole array and point will contain each individual entry of the array, a single entry at a time. So let's use that, for example, to set the color of the found points by using a function called set point attrib. And again, let's drop down the brackets, highlight it, hit F1. And again, in the help, this is the relevant information that I need. Geo handle is the slot through which the geometry is fed into my node. So this is zero. String name of the variable that we'd like to adjust is CD, color diffuse. The point number is stored in point. And the value that you would like to set it, it's gonna be a vector of three components for R, G, and B. Let's set it just to red by going one, zero, zero. And the string mode set, we can omit that. It automatically does that. Almost there. One thing that I forgot is to specify a color first. So before going through that point wrangle, we should specify a color of that grid. Let's just do that with the help of a color stop. And let's set it to say green. And as you can see with the point wrangle highlighted, these are the points that PC find yields. And with the help of the set point head rip, we set their color to be red. Now we can, for example, adjust the radius or the amount of points PC find is allowed to find. So we can see now we increased that. Okay, so this is PC find in a VEX function. And the reason I wanted to show it in VEX first was it's also absolutely doable in VOPS. I just have the feeling that VEX is more explicit in how it handles the whole construct. So let's try doing it in VOPS drop down a point fob here. And again, wire in my grid on the first input slot and my single point on the second input slot. Let's dive in here. The first thing I'm gonna drop down is again, a PC find. And on the PC find, I will pipe my first input into the file name. So this is the same thing as telling the PC find function on which input slot to look for the points. I will adjust my search radius to match what I have here. So set it two and 200. Position channel is automatically set to P, so that's a convenience here. And now I need to get the point position from this point here. And I'm gonna do that with the import point attribute. Wire up the second input slot on the file tab. And gonna set my ptnum attribute here to zero. So I'm gonna use a constant for that. Set to zero, let's make it an integer. Wire up in here. So this will import my point position from which I will search for the other points. Let's wire this result in here. And now I have to build the for each loop. Let's just highlight our point pop so we can see better. So again, I'll have to build that for each loop now so I can iterate through all those found points in here. 
for each loop looks like that. It accepts an array as an input and it will spit out each individual element while iterating through it on this slot here. So this is my variable point that I specified in VEX. And let's use that in a set attribute node. And this is the point where uh, I find VOPs a bit clumsy because in all of those nodes, I could specify a file input. Here I have to specify a geometry handle. But in our case, if we leave it set at zero, that's going to be fine. On the other hand, it has two input slots for IDs. On the one hand, for point or primitive IDs. On the other hand, for vertex IDs. In our case, we only need point IDs. So let's wire up this to our current element. And as you can see now, we're already setting those points just by the default value for CD and the default value for that is black. So let's wire up another constant. Let's set this to be a color and pick a red color here as well, wire that into the value. And we now set those points to be red. So this is the same thing as my few lines of VEX code that I coded beforehand. Whatever you use is totally up to you. I personally like to stick to VEX because I find it less confusing, but it really depends on um, your preference. So the takeaway here is PC find will always return a list of point indices. So it's going to be an array and you'll have to work through that array using a for each loop. I hope you had fun. It's cheers and goodbye.